excited to talk to you today. Um, you know, this, this show, you know, living with it for eight years and having to expand the care, having the opportunity to expand characters. I mean, it must be a blessing to be able to uh, come back to, I guess this is almost like another home, right? To come back to this character and these people, this town and, and make movies out of it as well. That is exactly right. Just as you said it, it feels like a second home to me. Um, I I feel very grateful to get to play this character on this show with some of my best friends. Um, it's been a real joy in my life. I I truly, truly miss Hope Valley when I'm not there. It's it's a real happy place for me. Um, so you've you really hit the nail on the head there. It's it's just uh, it's been a real joy in my life. I'm very grateful. Now, uh, getting to eight seasons and, and starting up already, I mean, the first episode's out. Uh, you know, I, I, I guess there's so many different fan questions, too. I'm sure they come to you uh, and, and they align you 100% with your character, I'm assuming, too, right? So everything she does good is, 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 is what the writers do, but everything she does bad is probably your fault in some regard, too, right? So uh, you, you probably have to live with that. So I guess the, the, the question that's going to come from a lot of them is... Uh, you know, uh, what's it like um, to play a character that isn't essentially, I guess, a love triangle, right? How does how does that work out where you you have to have those longing looks and also the uh, uh, the, the the same idea of what what works best out for Elizabeth? Uh, it is not easy. Not that I'm complaining. I work with two wonderful men. Um, I, I am very, very lucky to get to work with them. Um, but no, I think that there has been some strong feedback from the fans where they are, um, they are becoming a bit impatient with Elizabeth and, and just how long it has taken her to make a decision. Um, but the truth is, it's been a really challenging tightrope for us to walk. We wanted to be mindful of the fans and and how much um, respect they paid to the Elizabeth and Jack romance that we built over the course of five seasons. And, and one of the ways that we wanted to do that was by not having Elizabeth immediately jump into another romantic pairing. Um, and I think at the time, the what felt like the best approach was instead of bringing in one new guy who was suddenly going to have all of the Hardy's eyes on him and, and really probably take a lot of uh, heat and judgment for being the guy who was going to um, step in as Elizabeth's next romantic partner, we decided to introduce two men. and um, And perhaps that has kind of diluted some of that, uh, I don't know what to call it, protective energy that the Hardys might be feeling um, in regard to who Elizabeth might love next. So it's been challenging, right. yes, but <laughs> I think we are all collectively, the Hardys, myself, our entire cast and crew, we're all ready for Elizabeth to make a decision. And, and luckily that is coming this season. Right. But at the same time, you probably enjoy the fans coming up with Team Nathan and, and, and Team Lucas as well, right? Having the, uh, the their own um, version, their their own their own hopes and dreams as well, kind of in, inset with their as they watch each episode. Yeah, well, I absolutely love their enthusiasm. I'm thrilled that they are as passionate about the show as they are. You know, as long as the commentary remains kind and supportive. I'm happy. It's when they start fighting with each other that I'm like, okay, kids, am I gonna have to separate you? Um, but yes, they are they are very passionate about their team, about who they want Elizabeth to end up with. And um, and that makes me happy that they are as protective of Elizabeth as perhaps I am. Yeah. So uh, you know, we as we move forward for, for season eight, uh, do we maybe get to find out what is making the men in her life uh, hit the gas or maybe pump the brakes a little bit on what they want or what they're going after? Yes, that is a great question. Um, because after all, this is not just Elizabeth's story. Um, within the love triangle alone, we're getting to find out more about what makes these men tick and why, you know, one of them is more comfortable pursuing Elizabeth in the way that he does 
uh, perhaps why it's been harder for the other. There's a lot more information that's coming to light this season. Um, and that's in large part thanks to our new showrunner, John Tinker, who's done an incredible job um, this season. We're, we're very lucky to have him at the helm. Um, it's going to be a season full of a lot more information about the characters that you uh, are learning now for the first time. And uh, this season also brings us a little melody too, because melody too, you sing this season, correct? I do. You've really done your research. Yes, I do. There's a there's a sweet little musical moment where Elizabeth sings to her favorite person in Hope Valley, her favorite person ever, probably. Very cool. Well, um, I want to say we're very excited for that, but we're also excited for uh, the film, too. It was always you. Uh, <clears throat> really quickly, could you give us just a, a, a little bit of the story they might expect from the film, from the movie? Yes. It Was Always You is perhaps my favorite Hallmark Channel movie I've ever done. Uh, I'm playing a woman who is obsessed with her lists. She wants to do things uh, according to plan, and she's engaged to the man that she expected she'd be engaged to. And um, unfortunately, there's a storm, and the bridge goes out, and she's geographically separated from her fiancé, ends up spending a lot of time with his annoying but charming brother, and it's through their friendship and the time that she spends with David, played beautifully by Tyler Hines, that she realizes she's kind of lost sight of who she is and that there's a lot more joy to be found in life when you can kind of cut loose and experience new things. And it's through that journey to self-discovery that she also realizes um, she may not be engaged to the man she's meant to be with. Very cool. I want to thank you very much. I hope everyone is happy and healthy in your world. And we will look forward to the show as well as the movie. Although I also watched Letter Kenny, so Tyler's a bad guy in that. So I have to kind of forget <laughs> forget that part of it, I guess, right? So besides that, yes, have an amazing day. <laughs> Be good. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Bye.